Okay, so I hope we're enjoying our lesson on conditional logic. In this video, we're going to go over the equality test, which is the most simple form of uh, conditional logic that we can use in Python. So let's start off with a num equals 5. So we'll just declare something uh, equal to 5. And then we say if num equals 5, then we're going to print something. Let's say num equals 5. Let's just be super excited about that. And got to put a colon on the end of these. So on the end of any of your if statements, you're going to type them if, then you're going to have a Boolean condition here, and then a colon. And so now that I have that, I've got to switch to my Python compiler. And you can see I print out num equals 5. Because my num equals 5, and if this is true, which it is because num is equal to 5, then we print this statement. And you have to be careful because this uh, is a logical operator. you got to use the double equals here. If I had used a single equals, it would generate an error because these if statements need a Boolean condition in order to run. That's what drives them. So if you don't, if you have an assignment operator here, that's just resetting num equal to five, and it's not checking a Boolean condition. So you got to have that double equals there. Let's say we wanted to um, go back and forth here. So if num, we could string two together here. So I can say if num equals three, I could print num equals three and then let's change this to three and it prints num equals three and then if i change it back to five it prints num equals five so it goes back and forth now the interesting thing is if i set this to four it does nothing and that's because we haven't covered a contingency yet but we will learn how to do that in the next lesson. For now, we also want to check out the fact that we can also compare uh, strings or any other kind of data. So I can say, let's instead of num, let's say word equals, uh, what's a good word? handsome and if word equals handsome then we can print they are the same And look at that, I screwed it up again. I forgot to put a logical operator here. So just remember that that logical operator can work on text as well. And you can see I didn't get anything printed out, and that's because I forgot an S here. But it's still making the check for equality. So when they're the same, it prints they are the same. Now, let's make it even more interesting. Let's go word 1 equals... And let's do some user input. Input. Please enter your word. And let's say this word two is handsome. If word one is equal to word two, then we can print they are the same. So let's try that out really quick. So it says enter your word and just for that sake it'll say they are the same. But if I run it again and I put in and some and I forget the E, they're not the same so I uh, don't, uh, it doesn't print anything. But I could put a contingency here that says if word 
one is not equal to word two. Print mismatch. So if I do that and I go blah, then I get a mismatch. So that should get you started with uh, Boolean expressions and your if statements and conditional logic in general. This is really the most simple concept behind it, and it's a really good jumping off point. So check out my next video on Boolean variables.